Welcome to the seventh module of the micro learning course on marketing, which is designed to help you get a better understanding of marketing in bite sized chunks. This module looks at how to develop your strategy. In part one of developing your strategy, you will have decided whether to sell more products to the same market or look into some form of diversification. This part looks at approaches to determine how mature your market is and whether you need to innovate in order to stay competitive. Ideally, you will have worked through the previous six micro-learning modules, as some of the information you collated will be needed in this module. By the end of the module, you should be able to use the technique to determine where your product or service lies in the product life cycle and decide whether to innovate or be the last man standing and dominate a declining market. At the end of the module, you will be given a list of actions so that you can do your own analysis. The results will then lay the foundations for your future marketing strategy. Understanding the maturity of your market can be critical to developing your strategy. Roger's curve of innovation helps us to understand at what stage of the product life cycle you are at, and so help inform us of which strategy is needed in order to succeed. What the graph shows is that when you launch a new product or service, the first people to buy your offering will be innovators. These are the people who like to experiment and try new things. They are by their nature risk takers. The next stage are the early adopters. These people like the latest thing but will want to have some proof that the concept works. These tend to be the thought leaders. They want to be seen to be ahead of the rest of the pack. The early majority are the large group of customers who buy products after a few customers have tried them and given positive feedback. The late majority are a large conservative group in a community who are slow to adapt to technology and will want a tried and tested solution. They by nature are less likely to take risks. The laggards comprise a group of consumers who avoid change and may not be willing to adopt a new product until all traditional alternatives are no longer available. This means that when you launch a product, the money is ideally going to be made in the early majority, while the late majority and laggards require a different strategy. If you are launching a new product into an existing marketplace, you still have to find the innovators and early adopters in that market for your innovation, if it is distinctly different to what is already out there. But one of the best methods of successfully launching new products into existing markets is going out and talking to your audience, giving them trials of your products and refining them with the feedback you receive. These options are much easier than trying to get into new markets with an existing product. So for your actions from this module, where are your products or services in the product life cycle? Do you need to educate to find the innovators? Do you have sufficient social proof to attract the early adopters? Can you use mass marketing to sell to the majority? Do you want to dominate a declining market selling to the laggards? If you would like help with getting your marketing on track, we have more free courses at hub.vision2success.co forward slash courses.